about occupation. The form of occupation of Gaza is different. It's not with Israeli soldiers on the ground. The soldiers and settlers pulled out in 2005. But when international law says very clearly that occupation is defined by having control of a territory from outside, from a government outside, that's precisely what we have in Gaza. It takes the form of a siege in which Israeli military controls the borders, determines who can go in, who can come out, what goods can go in or out, controls the seas surrounding Gaza, built a wall completely enclosing Gaza, controls the borders, controls the airspace, bombed the, uh, the airport so no planes can land, prevents Gaza fishermen from going out more than one mile out to sea. This is occupation of a different form. And until we understand that that's the root of this level of violence that we're seeing, we're not going to be in any position to end it. The first thing that has to happen, of course, is a call for an immediate ceasefire on both sides. But until we understand it in the context of occupation, that's not going to last. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Phyllis. We'll certainly be tracking this story. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.